time for the main event. All right, so with uh, the Game Awards coming up, and also uh, all the sales on Steam, a lot of people have picked up Hades, and a lot of my friends have picked up Hades. So I decided to do a Hades guide for the uh, channel. So I'll be going over all the bosses, uh, weapons, trinkets, and also the abilities. So the videos will be cut up into four parts initially for those categories. And before we begin, I would like to remind everyone to subscribe, like, and leave a comment on whether this video helped or not. So without further ado, let us jump right in. So starting off with the abilities in the Mirror of Night, uh, honestly, up until Thick Skin, I say, are the abilities that you want to have. Anything below that, it's kind of like a nice add-on and you can take your time in actually uh, unlocking with the keys. But generally, I'd say until Thick Skin, I think it's the default one. I think until Thick Skin, I think you're fine for the most part. Because all, the, all of these below are kind of just like bonuses so it is good to have but it is not necessary anyway let's start with the first ability uh, shadow presence or fiery presence now for shadow presence you have a maximum of 50% bonus damage when you hit someone from behind I think that's really good in comparison to uh, fiery presence which is a uh, bonus damage when striking an undamaged foe so in that that goes up to a maximum of Maximum of 75. Now there are certain builds that do work with Fiery Presence and uh, you can make it work but personally I just prefer the Shadow Presence because you can always get that and it always works on bosses too so so whenever you dodge you can dodge behind them hit them from the back and get that additional 50% damage and that works really well with a lot of stuff in the game my my preference is a uh, shadow presence over fiery presence. Now next is uh, chaotic vitality versus dark regeneration. For me, I personally prefer chaotic vitality. Like up until the last level sticks, uh, the the area before the final boss, you don't get any darkness, so you won't really benefit from dark regeneration. So having pr plus three. Or plus three health every time you clear a room, so you regenerate like three health for clearing a room. In comparison to darkness regeneration, which isn't which isn't bad, but it's just if you consistently get to sticks, you would rather have this in comparison to this, because. Uh, but if you're starting out for new players, I recommend this, namely because uh, you're gonna do a lot of. You're going to do a lot of replaying and uh, redoing of rounds. So it might be hard for you to get to Hades at first, but once you eventually get that down, you kind of need this more than this. But for starting players and the first couple of runs that you do, this is really good. Next, we have Stubborn Defiance versus Death Defiance. And uh, this one I'm going to go over pretty quick. Uh, Death Defiance, really good over Stubborn Defiance. Stubborn Defiance only works per chamber. There are instances where you get insta-killed once or twice in a chamber. So having Death Defiance over Stubborn Defiance is actually way better. Plus, extra lives. Who doesn't want that? <laughs> like, seriously. Alright. Then we have the dash abilities. So, this is personal preference. I prefer Ruthless Reflexes because you can combine that with Shadow Presence. So you get, like, double damage when you hit them from behind. Because you initially, initially you're, let's say the enemy was here, initially you're dodging behind them, and then you hit them from the back, but greater reflexes is also not bad for you if you're like, just starting about, starting the game, learning about the uh, enemy mechanics, enemy movements. Having this is pretty good, because you get two dashes instead of just this, then you have to wait, then dash again, you can just do that. Yeah. This is personal preference. I prefer Ruthless Reflexes over anything. Alright, next we have Abyssal Blood versus Boiling Blood. Now, 
this is only necessary if you're going for a cast build. So what cast is, hold on, let me show you. So cast is initially, so cast is initially uh, you doing this. So it, so it uh, shoots out a diamond and that works with specific builds. So if you go use the bow, use this, you can use the cast like this. But again, that works only for specific builds. And for me, i rather have uh, Abyssal Blood over Boiling Blood. Now, this is solely for mobbing. And this also works for bosses, so slowing their movement speed a little bit can help you out a lot in comparison to more damage, which you're already getting damage from here and here. So having an additional utility slow is actually a bit better. Now, on the topic of cast builds, Stygian Soul, not that good in comparison to Infernal Soul. Infernal Soul, Infernal Soul gives you more cast for a run. So there are ways to, for you to get cast. Like there's a... Chaos has a boon, which lets you hold more more cast. Artemis' legendary boon gives you more cast. But starting off the run with three cast already is pretty good if you're going for those types of builds. And good in general. So yeah. Uh, having two casts is better than just having your cast come back to you in a faster rate. Next, we have Deeper Pockets versus Golden Touch. So, so what, what Deeper Pockets does initially is uh, start each escape attempt in the House of Hades with 10 gold per rank. So you start with 100 gold in comparison to gaining wealth you clear, when you clear an underworld region. Plus 5% 5, 5 to your current rank. So this is... Uh, this is a toss up. This is completely up to you and your preference. I like to start the run with 100 gold already. Because uh, uh, gold is not m much of a priority issue. Right? Gold is not much of a priority issue for me. Plus, starting the run with 100 gold only leaves me with 50 gold to find in the area for me to buy another boon. Or. Starting off with 100 gold gives me an insta heal if I get to Karen shop. So, there's no issue. My control is going crazy. There's not much of a negative issue having 100 gold at the start of a round. So next, thick skin versus high confidence. I think thick skin is way more worth than high confidence. Like high confidence, yes, there's certain builds you can combine with high confidence and... uh. Fiery presence. Now you can combine those two. If you're, if you have like eighty percent above health, you do a lot more damage. But that's only if you're at eighty percent, and that's very rare. Like there's a lot of things in this game that does like fifty damage, forty damage, and you starting off with a hundred health, you 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 won't get that eight percent bonus for a while if you don't get any health ups. But I think thick skin is worth starting. Starting off with 100 health in comparison to 50 health. If you don't have this, I'm pretty sure your health is 50. Yeah, you start with 50 health. There is a trinket that gives you an additional 50 health, but I don't think that's worth using your trinket slot over uh, just getting it from here. Next is family favor versus privilege status. And... Family favor to me is the better of the two because privilege status only works if you have uh, the modification from Pact of Punishment. So you're getting family favor, like increased damage per boon you have. That's really good. Really good because you want more boons and the more boons you have, the more stuff you can do. And the more boons you have, you also have more damage. So yeah, family favor to me is the better of the two options. Next is uh, Olympian Favor versus Dark Foresight. So yeah, Olympian Favor versus Olympian Favor versus Dark Foresight. Now to me, having the ability to get rarer boons, at least a rare boon, whenever I find a, uh, a god reward, that's better than having the ability to 
just get a higher chance for these but honestly if you're farming farming for materials this is not bad but for majority of the most part uh, i recommend olympian favor next is god's legacy versus god's pride i personally think god's legacy is better because I want to have a better chance of finding legendary and dual boons. Now, legendary and dual boons, in comparison to the the uh, epic boons, right? Yeah, epic boons. These are more powerful. So having the ability to have a, even if it's not that much, having a higher chance of find try like finding a legendary boon and a dual boon is way better than having consistent epic boons. Because these things are one of the most powerful boons in the game. Initially, and they sometimes can make a good build a broken build, and bad builds good builds. So, yeah, having this is, to me, way better than having uh, God's Pride. Next, and the final one, uh, Fated Authority. Now, what Fated Authority does in comparison to fate, Fated Persuasion, Fated Authority, so when you, uh, when you clear a room, you have the options of going through uh, doors. And those doors have set rewards. With Fate Authority, you can re-roll those rewards. With that being said, you have a god that you don't want to have. Let's say I'm running a, I'm running, I'm doing a sword run, and I want Artemis, but I get uh, Ares instead, right? So I can use Fate Authority to re-roll into something else until I get the specific thing that I want from it. Well, Fate's Persuasion, it it does re-roll the boons and. That can help, but it's it won't really help if you have a god that you don't want in your run. Like sometimes you don't have an option of a different path, and then they'll give you an option where that you don't want to have. So having faded authority to me is way better than uh, faded persuasion. But then again, these are all my opinions. These are all my opinions, and you can you can mainly play around stuff that you want to like this is optional like if you want to test yourself you can go stubborn defiance instead of death defiance arc regeneration is good for you know newer players but overall that is my opinion i am no expert in the game although i do have 70 hours in the game already but yeah i hope you learned something from the video if you did leave a like and leave a comment we would like to know from you and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.